trucks and they're sitting on an airport runway. The problem is we just couldn't pick which two of those cars we liked better. You get a million bucks worth of supercar, you get a runway, and you have no security to kick you out. I think what you need to do is line them up, race them, and see which one's actually fastest. So I think we'll race the V8 car against the V10 car. The winner of that race gets to race the V12. Sound good? In the silver corner, we have the McLaren MP4-12C. Weird name, wickedly fast car. 3.8 liter V8 with two turbos strapped on the back. In the yellow corner, Lexus LFA. It's a 4.8 liter V10 with no turbos, so it makes 50 horsepower less, but it's still a really fast car. They're both rear wheel drive, but the McLaren is mid-engine, so it's got more weight on the back, which means faster getaway. Which one's faster through a quarter? Let's find out. McLaren wins. Let's go back and take another look at that launch in slow motion. Off the line you'll see both cars get moving with just the tiniest bit of wheel spin, but the McLaren's rear weight bias helps it jump ahead. And that's exactly where it stays for the rest of the race. The Lexus V10 screaming like a Formula One car, but uh, screaming's not enough and the McLaren gets to the quarter mile marker eight tenths of a second sooner and nearly six miles an hour faster. All right, Lexus, kind of the slowest of the bunch, but that's all right, because it sounds the best. Anyway, round two, we have the McLaren up against a V12-powered Lamborghini Aventador. This is a six and a half liter V12 that makes 101 horsepower more than the McLaren does. More importantly, the Lambo has all-wheel drive, which means it goes pew, right off the line. Whether that's enough to keep it ahead over the quarter mile, hmm, let's find out. Over so soon? All right, let's watch it again in slow-mo. The McLaren gets a jump off the line because, well, I was driving and I cheat, but cheating is no match for four-wheel drive launch, and the Aventadors is the most violent in the entire business. Thanks to its single-clutch automated manual, the shifts are just as painful. If you ever want to make your passenger cry, you put him in a Lambo. Luckily, it's all over in just 10.6 seconds with the Lambo coming through the quarter mile mark at 133.9 miles an hour. But does that mean the Lamborghini Aventador is the fastest carbon fiber supercar in the world? Hmm, no. And of course, it's the Bugatti Veyron, which is the undisputed king of fast. The Grand Sport right over there has 16 cylinders compared to only 12, and it has four turbochargers breathing air into those 16 cylinders, making 1,001 horsepower or 987 North American horsepower or 6.8 trillion somebody else's horsepower. It doesn't matter. It's really fast. And so we figured we should probably line them up to find out if the Veyron is still faster than the Lamborghini or if the Lamborghini is faster than its evil French twin sister.
oh come on, you didn't really think that the Veyron was going to lose a drag race to its younger sister. I mean, remember, these two cars come from the same family, from the Volkswagen Group.